let me answer your question. Is it capitalism when you have the Federal Reserve printing and raining money from on high like mana from heaven? Mm-hmm. It's like, you're, is it really skiing if you're skiing on artificial snow? Yeah. Well, you're not skiing anymore if they turn off the snow machine, which is what's happened now with tight monetary policy. So as a side note, and I think I'm the only, certainly on the Republican side, the only presidential candidate talking about this. I think we have to restore dollar stability as the sole mandate of the U.S. Federal Reserve. Cut the playing God game, managing inflation and unemployment, trying to hit two targets with one arrow, disastrously missing both. Cut that game out. We're done with it. And to say that we're restoring a single mandate of stabilizing the U.S. dollar. You mentioned this earlier, you know, in the context of a different storyline. Stabilize the dollar as a unit of measurement against commodities. Yes, exactly. Gold, nickel, silver. Bitcoin? So I, I think that Bitcoin, for me, for a number of reasons, does not yet meet that commodity basket. I'm a Bitcoin fan. I spoke at the Bitcoin conference. I just want to stabilize the dollar against agriculture and farm commodities, gold, silver, nickel. And there could be a top point in time where Bitcoin becomes part of that commodity basket. There's some technical reasons why I wouldn't include that today. But the main point is stabilize the dollar as a unit of measurement rather than trying to actually play financial god from on high. Yeah, 